Another question we got, and this is really due to the coronavirus um, thing that's going on right now, is how to adapt the business to changing circumstances. And this is why I was reminded to the phrase be like water, because water is going to adapt to whatever situation uh, that presents to it, itself to it. Um, I think in order to have a business as stable as possible, it needs to be able to adapt. And it's easier to adapt if you're not single source dependent, if you're not depending on one kind of product in one kind of niche in one country or even in one city, as many businesses are. Um, for us, it was a very big step to go international, to stop offering our services just in, in Austria and then in Spain, for example. But we went international, we've got clients from all over the world, we've got clients from different niches. So some clients cut down, cut their SEO spendings these days, but we don't have an issue with it because we've got other clients in other parts of the world in other niches that still uh, hire us for new work and give us more jobs and give us more um, confidence in their SEO strategies. So the more you can scale your business across the entire planet across the country, uh, <clears throat> different countries and, and different niches, the more independent you get. So adapting the business, business in general means change. So your success in business is going to be tied to your ability um, to adapt to changing environments. So this is why very many businesses these days are going to have to look into what they have been doing up to now what's not going to work anymore. So some things are going to definitely change forever, probably. Other things are going to work again once we get to a more stabilized situation. And then we need to see what can we, for example, digitize in our business. Even if it's a very traditional business, there might be things we can digitize. There might be things we can offer in a different way. There might be info products coming out of our experience where we can actually sell our intellectual property um, on a digital platform, there might be courses, there might be um, <clears throat> other ways of delivering only part of our services. If we manufacture, we might have patents, we might have methods we can um, we can register or license or sell or joint ventures. We can arrange between some providers and some clients of ours, etc. So there is a lot of things we can do in business that might help us to get a more um, stabilized approach more more elastic approach where we can easily adapt to different circumstances and then the whole remote working working from home thing etc is definitely something that's not going to work for everybody but maybe even in companies that are very traditionally focused there might be some roles that definitely can do the work remotely and it's going to add a lot of flexibility not only uh, for a quick adaption to these circumstances but also for the hiring process. There are a lot of uh, companies, even agencies that tell me they don't get enough qualified people right now to work at their agency and very often it's location related. So um, being able to hire people from abroad, from other countries, uh, from other time zones, etc., is going to add a lot of value and a lot of um, potential for the future to your business. So definitely how to adapt a business to change is really being open to change, accept the change, I guess. It's just something given and we need to accept it. We can't fight it and see what can you reinvent? What can you do differently? What else could you offer to the same audience that already trusts and respects your brand? So there is a lot of things that can be done here. Um, I think unless you're open to accepting the change, nothing is going to happen. So embrace it, see what you can do with it. Uh, if you want to bounce some ideas, send me an email. I'm always happy to talk about business. It's just something I really enjoy. Uh, this is my email address, by the way. Also, if you have any inquiries on SEO or online marketing, or just want to get another point of view, happy to share what I think about your situation. And yeah, one of the things you might want to look into is getting a quick audit on your site. If you haven't done any SEO or you want to know where your site is in terms of SEO, check out seoleverage.com. Uh, we've got a quick audit, it's $20 right now, I think $22. And it's going to give you a, a quick overview uh, we put together for you that, and streamlines your SEO efforts. So you know where you should be going, where you want to 
focus your attention on, especially these days, you would like to make sure that whatever you focus on, where you spend your resources on, is going to really bring your site forward.